Hello and welcome DPL fans. I'm um, here today with Genius versus Gohan. So we're gonna take a quick look at the matchup. Uh, we have Great Tusk, Volcarona. See how those look into Gohan's team. So Tusk, kind of a massive threat. <laughs> yeah, this guy just clicks dual stab and that's all he needs to do. Rapid spin lets you outspeed the whole team. Uh, and you're probably bringing rapid spin anyways because it's can be spikes meow yeah that is super sinister for gohan to deal with it's got to be like i don't know <laughs> maybe uh balloon on the shocks or something you need something for it maybe a terra type on this bathro that beats tusk but even then that might be a little bit rough how's the volcarona looking Volcarona also smashes Heike. Uh, Sneasler smashes. Oh my god, this looks one sided as hell. Um, can Chiyu do anything back? I mean, yeah. Looking like a potential AV Samurott. Uh, would you be Terra Fairy on the Chiyu with Terra Blast? No, because you want the Espathra Terra, right? So Chiyu is going to be pretty walled by the Samurott at least. Um, Meow. There's a Volcarona. Can run Power Gem, but unlikely. I don't know if it's actually unlikely. Maybe uh, maybe that is the bring. Bring knockoff flower trick. Power Gem U-turn or low kick. Does it get low kick? I don't know. I think it does for the Gambit. Alright, Spathra. This is going to be the main way that Genius would ever lose if possible, but there's a Drift Bloom right there, which as we know um, is really good into a Spathra if you are certain sets. Uh, Mirror Herb, uh, Unburden, Clear Smog, as Darkrai brought in his week 1 matchup against the Spathra, will always shut it down, at least initially. Um, let's see... It's a double dark, so what Terra would you be? Probably fighting type Terra, right? Because then you could just be stored power Terra Blast. Um, that kind of covers everything, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. Gohan might be trying to uh, just sub pass into Espathra and go for game as soon as possible before he loses to the Tusk. Um, or the Volcarona or, or the Sneasler. All of them are massive threats. So it's really on Gohan to play proactive he here and uh, get his bathroom in a winning position as fast as possible because he doesn't really have that much time to do it. Um, how about the Urshifu Rapid? This guy, Loki, huge threat. This, those two Pokemon, his bathroom and Urshifu, are the only saving graces on Gohan's team for this matchup. Um, you can definitely force Chiyu uh, if you want to. But the Samurai is going to hold it off for a little bit at least. Uh, maybe like one switch in and then like uh, switch in again on a Aqua Jet for Chip. Uh, so it's like a two time switch in functionally. Which I don't know if Gohan has the time to get Chiyu in more than two times during this game. There's way too many offensive threats. Great Tusk to, could be AV as well. That doesn't even look bad. Um, and that would eat a Chiyu hit and kill back. Although then you're trading Chiyu for Great Tusk, which is a huge uh, upgrade for Gohan, I think he'd be okay making that trade. Um, anything else? Cryogonal is the only removal, but um, there's a Samurai with Ceaseless Edge, so yeah, this is just looking really skewed in Genius's favor. Uh, game should be starting any second now. Uh, Genius has added Gohan on... Uh, whenever you're ready. So let's see if, what else can I say about the matchup before the game starts. Um, let's see. How does Sandy Shocks look? So Shocks, as usual, looks pretty good outside of the Rillaboom. I guess Kilowatch falls the stabs as well, but it does get Power Gem for that. Yeah, Rillaboom kind of walls it pretty hard, but I don't know if you even bring Rillaboom into this team. There's like Chi Masquerada. It's. 
I guess I can uh, drum beating into a Spothra permanently to keep it slower than the Sneasler. I don't know how practical that is though. Um, it is good for the Urshifu though, so I can see Rillaboom coming actually. Probably going to be drum beating if I had to guess with maybe uh, maybe knockoff and I don't know man maybe drain punch it's really hard to come up with a really boom set into that would you just be scarf scarf wood hammer maybe that would make some sense the only really big roadblock to that is the dragalgy which I'm not sure is coming Orthrum, I guess, can also come in on that, but it's whatever, man. We'll have to see how Gohan manages to uh, prep for this one, because it's looking dire. Hmm. What Sneasler set will it be? Definitely CC, right? <laughs> Other than that, you'd assume Dire Claw for the Spothra. Um, yeah, CC just covers everything except Dragalgy and a Spothra. So. Hmm, if this were Terra Sneasler, it would be very strong, but I, I think Volk and Gambit were like the correct choices, anyways. You might be. Uh, Terra Fire on your Gambit into this team. Allows you to uh, resist the Terra Blast fire on a Spathra because fire is also great into Volcarona and Rillaboom. So, could be possible. Could also be uh, fighting a Spathra, which is also perfectly fine into Genius's team. But, um,. Yeah, there's two options there into the Gambit. Um, see, your Shifu fits Pads SD, and the Real Boom is not Scarf. That could be pretty big danger. So yeah, maybe Real Boom is forced to be Scarf just for that Pokemon, because I don't know really how he's supposed to reliably beat it otherwise, unless it's Terra Grass Volk. But I feel like you want to save your Terra for Gambit in this matchup if possible. Does Volk need the Terra? Um, let's see. I think you can just be dual stab, right? On your Volk. I guess that doesn't hit your Shifu, so you want Giga Drain. Bug was Giga Drain? Maybe? Because Orthrum isn't going to be the initial Volk switch, and you can kind of forego fire coverage if you really want. That's well by Dragalgy still. So maybe it'd just be three attacks. I don't know. It's tough. Maybe you'd be like just a uh, Boots No Quiver Dance. Could be like a Whirlwind for a Spothra. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a Whirlwind Overheat type thing. Or Volk. He could be Will-O-Wisp to catch the Urshifu trying to switch in. I don't know though. It's a, it's a little bit rough for Volk here. There's too many Pokemon that resist its stabs and coverage. You need like 17 coverage moves versus a Steen. Yeah. Kind of running out of things to talk about for this matchup. So I'm going to go ahead and pause until uh, Gohan is here for the game. All right, and we're back. So, uh, looking at the matchup, well, at least, what did he not bring? Now let me fix the dimensions. There we go. So, Psychic Volk, Ghost Gambit is interesting. That's definitely predicting the fighting on the uh, Espathra, which he got correct, as you can see. Um, and then the Chiyu is just fire type. So what was not brought? The uh, cryogonal, cryogonal shocks makes sense. And then on the other side, um, kilowattral driftblum. Yeah. So basically the <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let me let me go back. Look at this through. So Orthworm into Rillaboom. You see the taunt on the Shedtail. Yeah, so that's a good move by Genius, but it's not Scarf Rillaboom, which means that your Shifu is going to be pretty annoying later in the game. Mirror Herb on the Chi is pretty cool. Um, what is that for? A Quiver Dance Volk, I assume. Yeah. So he is Wisp on that to kind of cripple the Samrot early, which is nice, but he's still just going to click Seasless Edge here and get a spike up. There's no removal on Gohan's team, so uh, a spike up seems pretty sinister here. Uh, Chi is definitely forced out still, especially because it's not a Terra type to hit Samurott. You know it's going to be walled. It's likely AV Samurott, judging from how it's the switching to Chi Yu. Uh, yeah, a spike's going up here. You could definitely go Orthworm here if you wanted to, and this is your opportunity to shed pass. Uh, yeah, as the Orthworm does come out, and the spikes do go up. So we're going to see a shed here. Uh, we're going to find out if the Samurai is not AV here, because if he's not, he's probably clicking Taunt or something of the sort. Uh, could be switching out here. Yeah, Rillaboom on the Shed Tail. This is interesting because now the terrain is going to be gone and you get a Chi Yu in here with a, a sub up, potentially. Or you could even go uh, Dragalgy here, honestly. Dragalgy might be the play. Hello, Yerdunk. How you doing? So yeah, definitely between Dragalgy and Chi Yu here. I'd be interested to see if uh, Genius has Mirror Herb unburdened on his Sneasler, just to um, always have something faster than the Espothra, because it can come in initially on the Calm Mind, or it also gets triggered on the Speed Boost. So either way, you're going to be faster than the Espothra, because it's never going to uh, kill with stored power initially, because it's like 20 base power, right? So that could be something to look out for. Uh, let's see. But yeah, Dragalgy or Chi Yu coming in here. Maybe you could go Meow? Or Shifu is not what I expected here. Um, but I guess this makes sense because you get a CC off on Rillaboom, which is forced to stay in. So that's a big progress towards your Shifu winning later. Right? Yeah, you definitely just CC here. It looks like it's Punching Glove or CB, judging from no leftovers. Yeah, like if you were bulk up, I guess you would be Punching Glove. Because Punching Glove is like so good on our Shifu Rapid. It's like almost mandatory, I feel like. There's a close combat to 60. And it's Rocky Helmet. Oh, it's Life Orb. And it is drum beating, like I predicted. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you could have been punching glove and achieved the same stuff. Huge damage on the Sneasler. So 72. Very nice. Is that in range of Aqua Jet? Should be, right? If you're Aqua Jet, and I feel like you should be into Volk, right? Uh, drum beating, if you are not aware, your dunk. Uh, it is a 80 base power grass move that lowers the opponent's speed by one when it hits, but obviously that doesn't go through sub. That's why the Yoshifu did not get minus one speed. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to see an Aqua Jet here most likely. Um, you could maybe pivot out, but I don't know. This is definitely looking like things are staying in. Uh, we'll see though. That was pretty good value out of the Shed Tail Pass, but like I said in the preview, it, it's not an Espathra. You really wanted to get that pass into Espathra if possible, because that's the main win con of his team, right? And he's not even, uh, what's it called? Citrus Berry. Ooh, Scarf Samurai. Interesting. Did not expect that. Expected AV. So he gets the Surprise KO on our Shifu, which is really big. Honestly, that was one of the two threats that I outlined in the preview. So getting that out of the way, now it's just a Spothra. If you're really bulky, no, it's minus two defense, bro. I don't think that mattered. Either way, he's dying to life orb, right? 
So what's the play here? It's probably a spot throw turn right now, honestly. Do you just uh, calm mine and go for it? I don't know if you're going to get a better opportunity than uh, a Scarf Aerial Ace Burned Samurai, right? Maybe if you're sub Aspathra, you can click that this turn. <laughs> Not that sorry. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But yeah, I agree. I don't think it mattered. This is definitely looking like the Aspathra setup turn though. Uh, so we'll have to see what Genius's counterplay is to it, but I can't... I can't imagine he has zero counterplay for Aspathra. Like, he has to expect the Terra fighting here. In which he has predicted it with the Terra Ghost on the Gambit. So that creates, at the very least, a 50-50 between Stored Power and Terra Fight. Um, but that being said, Terra Fight, if it's Fizz Def, can kind of take a hit from Gambit. So it might be Red Card on the Gambit. I could see that coming. Interesting, the Meow comes in instead of the Aspothra, which leads me to believe it's probably opportunist on the Aspothra to catch the Quiver Dance on Volk. Is that... Is that a terrible assumption to make? I don't know if I would assume it necessarily, because it is Terra Fight. Which means Calm Mind is probably the set, right? You'd be Calm Mind, Terra Blast, Stored Power, Roost? It is Chopple Gambit, gets the rocks up. Hold up. A lot of the Aspathra counterplay is starting to go away, right? This could definitely be a reverse sweep, right? Letting the Gambit take chip like that. I guess double hazard means it comes in at 75, but it's still a little bit dangerous, right? So, given that he is sacrificing health on the Gambit so readily, I would have to assume it's like Bulky uh, Whirlwind Volk to phase out the Aspothra. Whirlwind also makes sense into Shed Pass, and he just sacks the Gambit, so he's, he's uh, preserving the Terra for his Volk there. Because he was Terra Ghost, he did have the option to click it there. Uh, yeah, so it's Terra Fire on the Volk, right? Or no, it's, it's Psychic. It's Terra Fire on the Chiyu. Yeah, Psychic Volk. So yeah, Psychic Volk would wall the Aspathra, because um, it's fighting. He called that correctly. And that will always be able to whirlwind out the Aspathra, unless it's Last Mon. But Last Mon Aspathra looks pretty sinister. I don't know, man. The Samurai comes in, probably looking to get up another spike with Ceaseless Edge. You're going to have to get your Aspother in pretty quick, I think. Maybe you can go Orthworm if it's Resto Chesto. You can live and then Shed Pass into Aspothra, but again, I feel like it's really going to be Whirlwind Volk. We'll have to find out, though. Because surely Genius is not sacking his only counterplay to Aspothra, like in the first 10 turns. Well, 12, you know. Yeah. It's got to be, right? At the very least, it's going to be Psychic, which is going to hit uh, the Aspothra after it Terra's. But at this point, I don't think you even need to Terra necessarily. The Psychic type is better for Aspothra than the Fighting type, and you don't need the Terra Blast coverage. Because you can just uh, raw Terra Blast into Samurai, it's not going to matter. So the Orthworm does come in. Maybe it is Rest. It does eat two, as I expected. No Ceaseless Edge is interesting. I feel like you wanted to get up the full three layers of spikes. Steel Beam <laughs> into AV Tusk. So, uh, yeah. I did predict the AV Tusk at least. Uh, I said it was a possibility. And now it's the Aspoth return. Kind of uh, signaling he's Fizz Def to come in on the Tusk here. Uh, but we're definitely going to see... Okay, Headlong Rush does way too much damage. Calm Minds. But at this point... The Volk is going to be able to check it very comfortably, right? Maybe you can roost on the Volk uh, after the stored power this turn. Because you're definitely clicking stored power, there's no other play to make. Sacks the Rillaboom. Interesting. So the Volk's going to come out, and we're going to see a roost if he has it, right? 
This is going to Terra Psychic on the bulk, 100%. He tariff. Okay, it's red card. Same thing. Uh, phasing bulk, basically. Imagine if it was mirror herb still. That would have been super funny. Genius would have straight up lost. Man, that's really funny. But he did knock the mirror herb earlier. But anyways, red card, whirlwind, same difference, right? So it was phasing bulk, psychic to take any hit. And then Quiver Dance. So if it was Opportunist on the uh, Espathor, it wouldn't matter because the red card would have phased it out after anyways. So good prep by Genius. He just needed to keep the rocks off, which uh, who's getting rocks up versus AV Tusk? Because the Orthworm is never going to keep them up because Tusk can always spit on that. Yeah, so just really good prep by Genius there. I think kind of covers everything. And now he's going to get swept by Volcarona unless the Chiyu can live a hit, which it might be able to, honestly. Because your Volcarona is going to be Quiver Dance, Psychic, Fire move. And, um... Yeah, he doesn't have a move to kill uh, Chiyu. Okay, 41 is crazy damage. <laughs> How does it do so little? I don't know, though, because... Gohan still might be able to get out of this alive. That looks really bulky on the Volcarona. So maybe Scarf Meow can outspeed. About to find out. Or it could be Sucker Punch either way. Okay, it is Sucker Punch, but it is Morning Sun. I guess he clicks it again. Yeah. And it doesn't kill. So it's a like, super bulky Volk. And Volk's going to sweep this pretty comfortably. So yeah, Psychic and Bug Buzz coverage. Which, I did say was possible, but it is walled by a few things, so he had to remove a few Pokemon before going for the sweep. Not too many Pokemon, though. It was just the Orthworm, which I guess he kind of Quiver Dance on anyways, so... Good bring. Um, and that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.